radiator looks like sitting in here. Looks like the same hose is gonna work, but there's not enough room up here for the overflow, so I'll have to mount that somewhere else. Shove down in there. This bracket here is up against the fan. That's what's holding it from falling through. That and the pressure from this bumper, but I need to figure out a way to bring something off of here and over, probably right here where this mount is and weld it in so it'll support right there on both sides. And uh, then the bottom should be good if I do that, I would think. Well, damn, it's sitting too low like that. It needs to come up if I want to use this. That's going to fold here. Using that plate, I uh, drilled holes here and here and into the radiator, and then just used leg bolts, sucked them in so that lag part actually, the square actually grabs. And uh, it's a little lower than what the other one was going to do. Ah, it's the other one was going to have it sitting quite a bit higher. So now I'm gonna, I committed to that. So now I'm going to raise the car up and see what the bottom part looks like. I'm not even sure this needs anything. It's being held up real good up there on top. It doesn't wobble that much, but I could weld a nut or a bolt right here, drill a hole right here, and then shim that out a little bit so it ain't rubbing, because it's rubbing right here. It isn't rubbing on the actual water jacket though, so it could rub for quite some time before it causes problems. But it's pretty solid just the way it is. I used my Hobart welder and it's working pretty good, I must say. And uh, this turned out to be really easy. I just took some anchor bolts I had laying around and uh, welded them in. And did the same thing on this side. side of it so I could jack it out and not on the other to tighten it down and I got daylight there and I got daylight there just barely see right there there's a little space so the radiator is mounted I got the hoses in was able to get the overflow in but I had to move it back I had the bottom uh, mounted out a little more but there's plenty of room there now I think and that's done I'm not sure what I'm gonna do next 
got the new iPhone Pro Max 13 and it it has a light on it when you record which is convenient this is how I mounted the um, steering column and I still got a rivet that that ring right there I figured I'd wait until I'm all, all the way done the steering wheel has a little bit of play in it I put the motion horn on the other horn actually had electronics in it though I'm not sure that would have fit on this quick release and that's the quick release I can't see it there's the steering I'm gonna have to raise the car up This is the steering rack. Few uh, joints. That's three inches long. And then I grinded little divots in it so that it wouldn't slide out at all. And then I drilled a hole through here, spun it around, stuck the bolt in the back side, and then drilled it again. It's the best way to make sure you get a straight uh, hole. And I did the alignment first um, before I connected the steering wheel with this bolt. That way, hopefully, if I did the alignment good enough, it should be close enough that when I fine tune it, this, I can get the steering wheel where it needs to be. But, I mean, it's really that simple. And then if this, if this isn't correct I could chop it off here and make this longer and just drill another hole and I only get so many chances obviously but I think that the well that steering wheel doesn't seem to have the it has play up there but I think the play is in the rack it's not in the U joints pretty easy install it didn't take me very long I think the next thing I'm gonna do is take this alternator off and clock it so that the wiring is right here or right here because right now it's on the bottom and it's too close to this exhaust because it's right about in here and I just want to get rid of that situation Follow the online instructions and you're supposed to flip this upside down and this goes this goes in here. You're supposed to flip it upside down and tap it until it comes down and then you're supposed to clock it. Real simple. Well doing that. Those wires connect right there these ones do and one at a time they broke I think they're supposed to connect to that and that and a couple more in there somewhere but the connections broke this maybe was supposed to slide out and it didn't great called Summit and it's still under warranty and I told them exactly what I did then they told me to call Tough Stuff Performance and tell them what I did and if they was gonna cover it to call them back they'd help figure it out well they said to call and say it wasn't charging and then they'd get it replaced and I said well that won't fix my problem with it clocking not going in the right direction and so they said uh, to go ahead and send it in and mark on it with a, a letter um, which way I want it clocked and 
and the whole situation and stuff and that since it's under warranty they'll go ahead and fix it and clock it for me and send it back and um, yeah they said it wasn't a clockable unit for some reason I'm not sure why well the, well I guess I kind of got an idea this coil here doesn't slide in and out um, so maybe it was supposed to maybe it wasn't but anyway this is going to get mailed in and then they're going to clock it and fix it said it needed to be clocked at the factory and um, so that's what they're going to do